somebody give me a thumbs up or a high five or a fist pump just to know that you are alive and well and that you can hear me. I know some of you guys had me earlier, earlier on today. Uh, so <laughs> you may be tired of hearing my voice, but um, yeah, let's uh, remain strong. All right, all right. Thank you, Grant. Thank you, Cameron. All right, and thank you, Deshaun. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yes, Letabo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, earlier Letabo was saying, uh, <laughs> do I have you for all my classes? Well, I hope, I hope not. I hope not. All right, all right. Okay, cool. Right, guys. So, as promised, today, what we are going to be doing is the following. Is the following. I'm actually not going to share my screen with you. Uh, what we are going to do, though. Actually, I will. I will have to. Um, but what I want to do is I um, want us to conduct this lesson via Padlet. Yeah, Padlet. So let me... I want to get the, the link. Okay, I'm getting the link so that I can share that with you. So what I'm going to need you to do, there's the link. I'll put it in the chat. So what I'm going to need you to do is to click on that link so that you can then go to the Padlet page. And I'm going to share my screen with you now. Things that more and more people are logging in now. Which is cool, because the more the merrier. All right. Uh, Deshan, we only have one recording on YouTube right now for this class. All right, and how you access the recordings is you search my name. Okay, you search, as you can see now, I'm on YouTube. Okay, so you search Obi Sanzani. Okay, and you can even just add IQTT511. Okay. All right. And then you... There you go. So once you see this manual, then you know you can click on that and it will take you to... The live session so yeah that is for one recording that's currently available i hope i've answered your question Mr. all right no problem only a pleasure sir only a pleasure okay so now i hope has everybody clicked on that link because it should take you to here okay it should take you to here all right and what i want us then to do is to obviously you guys should be able to comment, so I want you to click on this and then add what your solution is, okay? All right, these are the exercises that we have in there. In the, in the manual, we're doing activity one. All right, so there you can read the question. It says, you have just been paid for completing four programming projects. You have received the following amounts for respective project. Well, project. Project A, 75,565. Project B, 125,455. Project C, 37,545. 37, then project B, 100 4,665. Okay. What is the total amount that you will receive? What is it? What is the total amount? Okay, I've got one answer there. 343,230. Okay, I have a second person providing the same answer. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah, I see somebody posted something on the chat. 
When, when can we find the link? Okay, so I think what you're trying to say is okay. okay I'm going to post it again on the chat. All right, hi everybody. I do not know what happened there. We just happened, I just happened to get kicked out. For some reason, this is just acting slow. I don't know why. Let me close some of these tabs. Hopefully it will help. Okay, um, I don't know what's happening over here, but it's not allowing me to open this clipboard. Okay, there we go. Okay, all right, perfect. Has everybody got access to the Padlet? All right, somebody was asking about the link. Is everybody now there? Okay. So is everybody happy with question one? Everybody can, can add, right? I see, yes, 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 yes. I assume this is in relation to everyone being happy okay all right awesome all right i don't know what happened there earlier i just got kicked out okay but let's proceed so then we go on to the second one and i see some of you have already jumped on that which is good okay you are given a project to complete if the project is completed on time you will receive a payment of forty-five thousand for every day that the project runs late you will be penalized 6,500, all right? How much will you receive if your project is completed, if, your, if the project is completed one day late? Okay, so obviously there you're just going to subtract as I see has been done over here. 45,700 minus the 6,500. Oh, Kidox. All right. All right. Okay, 100%. Well done, guys. We can then obviously move to the next one. Okay, and in the next one, which I see some of you already, which I see some of you already uh, calculating, says you have 15 employees who each receive a monthly salary of 20. 3,500. How much does, how much does it cost in total per month for
for these 15 employees. Each receives 23,500. Okay. So right now I'm going to share my screen since uh, people did say they did not get the same thing. So I just want to quickly see. Okay, is, so everybody is comfortable. Everybody is on the pad. Hey, sorry, I won't won't let me see the answers oh so are you unable to see other people's comments jasmine are you unable to see people's comments these comments Jasmine, you just let us know, and then 15 times 23500. Oh, oh. Okay, there you can see we have 300, uh, 300,552, 500. Okay. No, it won't let me scroll down, okay? Where exactly you're talking about? Oh, going down like this, scrolling down like this. Should allow you to. Okay. So I'm just going to move to question four in the meantime. Let's just see. No, under the question where the answer would be, okay? Oh, I see. Is it the exact question being covered? Uh, you can get these questions in in activity in activity activity one on page thirty six in your answer booklets. Or oh, in your manual, sorry, your your manuals. What don't you ex understand exactly, Litabo? Where we get the que where do we get the questions? Okay, so the questions you need to click on the link here, and then you will get the. Okay, all right, great, all right, glad you got it. Okay, all right. So I see people have already answered question four. Question four is, if the total cost of buying four identical chairs for your office was 3,400, what was the cost of each chair? Okay, so we say 3,400 divided by four. Okay, and let's see, what do I get when I do that? Logic is 100%. So we are saying 3, 4, divided by 4. Yes, so I get 850 like everybody else. Okay, now, when it comes to question 5, it comes question five. Let's do this. Let me do this. This is one one section of the question. Let me do this. No, no, actually no. That's the first bit of the question. Yeah. Let's see here quickly. Okay. So the question they're asking, they, they're asking the following. Which inequality signs can be placed between the following pairs of values? Um, 
pairs of values to produce a true statement. Okay, okay, okay. So actually it's supposed to be like this, my bad. Yeah, so I kind of messed this up. So it should be like this. this uh, makes sense. Okay, so which inequalities can we place? So this is going to be A. This is going to be B. This is going to be C. What inequalities can we place in between those? What inequalities? I just see B and C, but Uh, that doesn't tell me which inequalities we can place in between those. Uh huh. All right, all right. That definitely seems right to me for question five. That definitely seems right to me. 21 is greater than 15. Anybody else agree? Okay, 14 is equal to 14. I agree. Yep, I agree. 21 is greater than 15. I agree that is correct. Seventeen is less than sixty. Sixty seven. Or is this yes, yeah, sixty seven? I agree with that too. Okay, so I think we're all on the same page there. So I think we can move on to the next one. It says determine the answers to the following problems. Okay, again, I think here this has not been split up. So let's do that. So maybe let me do this. Yeah. Let's go back here. Again, 
I'm going to say A. Okay, I'm going to say B. I'm going to say C. Say D. Okay, I'm going to say E. Okay, I'm going to say F. Hope that makes your lives easier. Hope that makes more sense. So the first one, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I agree, I agree. Because this is what we're calculating with the first one. Okay, so we're saying a positive 10. Minus, because remember, plus, then minus, gives you then a minus, right, minus 2. So as you highlighted, this gives us a minus 2, okay? And then here we're saying 1, okay, because here we're saying 16, negative 16. Okay, and then minus, minus. 17, okay, all right, in brackets. So basically this minus, it then times is this negative 17, which will then give us a positive 17, my um, plus, so in other words, this will become a plus 17, uh, minus 16 plus 17, which gives us one, okay. Guys, so I don't know what's going on with Blackboard. I think uh, I keep getting kicked out. I don't know. Is anybody experiencing the same thing? Is there anybody else who is getting kicked out of Blackboard? Ah, I see. All right, so it's good to see I'm not the only one. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. Hmm. So I'm not so sure what's going on there. Um, so let me just again share my screen. Let's let's try and just get uh, to a decent place. Okay. To a decent place, and we can decide from there. Okay. So we were working out question six. Okay. We worked out the first. Two. Okay, then we went over to E. Yes, E. Oh, first two. Wait, wait, wait. C. 
Okay, let's see. Let's see here. So we're saying 14 times. I don't know if this was the next one. Okay, but here, what I get when I say negative 14 times 20, okay, because that's a positive 20. What I get, let's do it on the calculator here quickly, 20 times, mm -hmm. Okay, but then obviously since this was, ah, uh, uh, no, I don't know why it's doing that. 20 So it should be a negative 280. I uh, hear something there in the chat. I'm gonna be with you guys now. Is what we should get for C. Okay, let's just, just want to see what you guys are saying there in the chat. Uh, yeah, I know. My apologies. My apologies. I tried to split it up in the chat for you guys. Okay. All right, so can you send the Padlet link again? I got lost for a bit. Okay, no problem. I can do that. I think, honestly speaking, this is the easiest way for us to to go through this module. Let's I'll share the link again with you. My pleasure that they come me. Okay, it come in. Okay, so let's get back to it. Okay. Right. Then the next one, um, this is what I have for the next one. Okay, the next one mm -mm -mm. is negative eight times negative negative seven okay and that gives us what eight times seven what do we have remember this is we're timesing two negatives so seven times eight or eight times seven you get 56 okay so yes 100 percent d is 56 okay yeah. Let's see then f 35 divided by negative 7 yes that is actually correct so we're saying 35 divided by a negative 7 called what okay Let's do it on a calculator. I know the answer, but I think it's for your benefit. So it's a five. Okay. So here you should have a negative five because it's a negative seven that's dividing a five. So negative five. Okay. Then finally, we have a negative. 14, so this is 100% right so far. We have a negative 45 
divided by negative 5. Okay? So 5 into 45 is 9. Okay? 9. But now is it negative or positive? So negative number divided by a negative number gives you a positive. So this is a positive 9. So we can leave it like that. Okay? And then we are done. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So we're done with question six. We can now go to question seven, guys. We can now go to question seven. Okay, anonymous, I'm not too sure, I'm not too sure what you're trying to ask there or if you're in agreement with what I'm saying, since it is a positive nine on that last one. Question, mm, question, with question, with question six. Okay, but guys, you can go on to question seven. Okay, that one should be right, okay, at least I hope so. Question seven, is it? No, 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 that doesn't look right. What? <sighs> okay, so. Basically, the first one here is 2 divided by 5 plus 7 divided by, uh, divided by 8. That's the first, the first, uh, first question. Second question, 19 divided by 4 minus 13 divided by 11 equals put something in the chat. Okay, please explain seven. Okay, no problem. So it says solve the following fraction problems, giving your final answer in its simplest form. If the answer is an improper fraction, give the answer below in its improper form and as a mixed fraction. Okay. Does that make sense? So we need to solve these fractions. The first one is, let me do this. Okay, so this is A. The first one is two divided by five plus seven divided by eight. So remember, in order to add two fractions, we need to have the same denominator. We can't do this without having the same denominator. So what is the answer there? Yes, so two... <clears throat> Needs to be uh, da, 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 no, 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 two times eight. No, no, 
Um, yes, actually. But the seven times five, no. Yes. So what we need to do is to get the same denominator. So to get this to the same denominator, the easiest way is to just times the two denominators together, okay? So five times eight is going to give you what? Somebody comment there on my on my on my comment there. You guys can see my screen so you can see where I am. I'm still on seven A. Update. Yes, it's gonna give you forty. Okay. Five times eight is gonna give you forty. So we want a denominator of forty. Maybe to make life easier. Let's let's try and just use do this I'm creating a book here maybe this will actually be faster five one 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 okay so this is kind of loading We want a denominator of 40. So I'm experiencing problems with putting download numbers in the comment section of ish. I really do not know what to say. Okay, but yes. Okay, I can see these guys also commented in the chat. Okay, so I think uh, they also are probably having some challenges putting it in there. Okay. Yes, I see someone, some of you have written 40 there. Try refresh. Uh, I did that earlier. Let's see. Okay. So I'm getting one. One more there. Let's see here what's happening. Okay, we finally have created this thing. Okay, so I think this is where we should just operate for the sake of time. Okay, so here is your calculation. And then you guys can answer me in the chat. I think that will be better. Okay, there we go. So once again, we want the same denominator. So in order to do that, we say five times eight, okay, to get the same denominator. It's the easiest way. You get 40, unless you know something that's common that both get into. All right, then here we're going to need to times, use a different color, we're going to need to times two by eight in order to get it to the same multiple or equivalent, or same equivalent. So two times eight you get. 16 and 5 times 7 you get 35 and these are supposed to add to each other okay so i heard something's going off there in the chat let's see 51 over 40 Okay. Cross multiply. Okay. 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 So a lot of us are now getting it. A lot of us are getting it. Yes. So 16. Yep. You guys are 100% right. It then obviously becomes 51 over 40. Okay, happiness. Right, cool. Right, so now we can go to B. Let's see, I had something in the chat. Let's check. 
Yeah, so we're just agreeing with each other. Okay, cool. So then let's proceed to B. All right. Let's proceed to B. B, they're asking the following. They're saying 19 divided by 4 minus 11. Ooh, let me do that. 13 divided by 11. So again, we need the same denominator. So we times these two. And we get 44 over 4 times 13 is what? 4 times 12 is 48. So times 13, you're going to have 52. And then minus 11 times 19. Now that I don't know off the top of my head. So let's times that. 19 times... 11. It seems like somebody in somebody knows the answer. 209. Thank you, Deshaun. 109. Okay, so you subtract those two together and what do you get? Let's see. Sorry, 209. Uh, let me just get that neat. Okay, so yes, plus 7, so that's going to give you 61, uh, 261, so what you got, yes, 261 divided by 44, and you get what? Yeah, I'm getting 5.9. Yeah, but obviously we can't have that. How are you getting... How are you getting 157? Is it... Oh, minus. Let's see. Oh, yes, it is minus. My bad. Okay, so those two minus each other, so 209 minus 52, and divided by 44. Let's see, what does that equal to? Okay, so we know that this is uh, 3, and then what we, we know is 44, so then we say 3 times 44. What do we get when we say 3 times 44? Okay, let's see what you guys are saying there. 132. Okay, that's fine. So 132, difference between 132 and 157. Okay, we can do this in our heads. 157 minus 132, what do we get? We get 25, yes, 100% right we get 25. So it would be that. Okay, 25. And can you see we can't make it any smaller because these are not both even numbers, okay? So we will then leave that as it is, okay? We then leave, that's our final answer, okay?
then the next one that we have is one times two and four over nine. Okay. So we need to get this into a mixed uh, into an improper fraction before we can calculate. So we say seven times one plus one, which will give us eight over seven. And then times nine times two, this is eighteen plus four. So that'll be twenty-two. Oh, twenty-three, sorry, over nine. Okay. So here we can just quickly flip this over or how do we handle this guys how can we handle this we literally just multiply oh yes so this is 22 because the two times nine is actually 18 not 19 so this is 22 let me just erase that okay then we can just multiply these. Okay, so eight times twenty-two, what do we get? What did you tell me there? A hundred and seventy-six. Am I getting the same thing? Let's see. Eight times twenty-two. One hundred and seventy-six. So on top, the numerator is one hundred and seventy-six, and at the bottom, nine times seven. What do we get when you say nine times seven? Let's see. Okay, let's see if you guys wrote down the same thing. Aha, 100% it is definitely 63. Okay. Okay. All right. Can we make this any smaller? Can we make this any smaller? Because remember, we need to leave these things in their simplest fraction so is there anything else we can do here to this Yes, so we can divide 176 by 60, and we get, well, yes, well, we would get that, but we want to leave it as a fraction, not as a decimal, but as a fraction. Okay, so if we divide, and this is the last thing I'll ask you guys, Why are you saying divided by uh, 36 divided by 69? Or do you mean 63? So the answer you should be getting when 63 gets into 100 and you would get 
it is only going twice so let's do that times 226 okay we can't go in this a third time so it'll be two you can also do or two so this remains as 63 then what is the difference between minus 176 what do we get 50 okay so that's another way that you could leave it uh, okay again i'm not too sure there what you're writing can you please explain how to simplify fractions okay so we can only simplify fractions when we when we have um even numbers okay so here here i think we can divide by by two all right so here we can divide by two remember uh, even number is something that's dividable by two so if we divide by two here we get two into six is three sorry actually you should be starting here all right 2 into 17 you get uh, you can you can make that 8 okay and 2 into 16 because there's a remainder 1 2 into 16 you get do, 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 another 8 so that's 88 but here we can't divide by 2 all right because we divide here by 2 we get 3 but 2 into 3 you get 1.5 Okay, so that's a problem with this. An even number leaves no decimal. Okay, so that's why we either leave it. Let me do this. We either leave it as it was. Okay. Or we then leave it as a mixed fraction like this. Okay. All right. Mm hmm. Hundred percent niya ko le or kale, kalo. Sorry. Okay. Hundred percent. I hope. Okay. Awesome, Jasmine. Okay. Glad to hear. All right. So, guys, I think. Let me. I think now our 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 link is stable. So now I think what we should do is let's have a quick, um, but I think for today, this is sufficient for today. I don't think we should go any further for today. Um, um, so yeah, because we do have a lot of sessions and I don't want to cover too much content too quickly because then we won't have time. We won't, we won't have things to do after. So let me leave it at this point for today. Or in fact, let's just finish off seven, okay? Then what I want you guys to do is to continue to do your unit one. So in our next session, let's make sure that we finish our unit one. Okay, so do from activity from question eight going onwards. But then let's just finish this last thing, then I'm going to let you guys go for today. And I'm going to remain here for anybody who has questions on what we've done so far. So I'll still be available here for um, the next 15, 20 minutes. Okay. All right. So let's do this. Uh, let's do this. The last one for today. I want to finish off seven. We're saying D is the following, 11 divided by 13 divided by one over four. Okay, so what we do here is we just quickly, to change this division sign, we can then, to make it a multiplication, we just inverse these two. So it becomes four over one times 11 over 13 okay so 4 times 11 it's going to obviously give you 44 over 13 okay so again we can leave it like this or we can say 13 into 44 
And how many times does 13 go into the 44? Somebody tell me. Okay, so Cameron has already delivered the answer there. Thank you, Oliver, has also already delivered the answer. Oh, yes. So, Oliver, you're actually right. So, it can go in three times. Okay. So, Cameron, I think you just missed one. Okay. Go in three times. And then if it goes in three times, three times 13, you get 36. So, it's 36 minus 44 minus 36. Okay. What do you get over here? Somebody tell me there in the chat. You get eight. Okay, so, uh oh. So here you will have eight. Is it eight though? Yeah. Should be eight over. 13. If we look at the answers though, oh, this should be 39. That's why. That should be 39, and then this will be 5. Okay. Right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So that is it for today. Thank you, Oliver. Yes, you're 100% right. So what I think, actually, let's take a quick 10-minute break. And then I uh, will be here for the next, uh, at, I'll, be, I'll, I'll, I'll log back in at uh, 4.40. And then I'll be here for the next uh, few minutes for anybody who has any questions on what we have done so far. All right, otherwise, the rest of you can actually call it a day, okay? As I'm sure you can tell this module, it's not that bad, so don't panic, all right? Everything is fine. I'm gonna use a lot of our time for those of you who have questions. Otherwise, guys, give me a thumbs up or a high five or a fist pump if you're good. All right, Jasmine just gave me a thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome, TK. Uh-huh, I see I have somebody raising their hand. You can switch on your mic if you want to ask something. All right, to the rest of you, you're more than welcome to leave. I will see you next time I see you. Yes, take care, Grant. Take care, Oliver. Thank you, Cameron. Thank you, Darshan. All right, thank you, Tayo. Hope I said that right. Okay. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Yes, you may you may you may open your mic. You may ask your questions. More than welcome. Kamu Hitso. Yes, Litabo. You can also ask. Okay, no problem. No problem, Kamu No problem. Only a pleasure.